Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kenna. Subscribe, I would love to have you here. And we are starting today's vlog on the floor. <laughs> oh, what's today? Today is Friday, July 8th. That's where we're starting this vlog. So next week is my launch day um, where I have all of my tube pads, tube clips, port covers, tube tape, sweatshirts, grip locks, scrunchies. Yeah, the whole, the whole shebang. I have over 1,200 items that are gonna be for sale. <laughs> That's, that's a lot. That's a lot that I made. That's a lot to pack and I am excited. I'm now entering the week off that I give myself prior to this because the past like, you know, a couple months I've been working so freaking hard to make all of this stuff and then next week is going to be kind of insane with all the packing so I like to give myself a little break to like recover from that. Oh yeah, I also went to the dermatologist this morning. We're trying one more topical thing before we try Accutane and I am terrified. Uh, I need to do some research and gather some information on Accutane before I fully agree to it. We're like starting to set it up because um, it takes a while to set up and she wants approval from my cardiologist which I don't see till the end of August but I don't know. I Like I said, I'll have to look into it. If, if, it, if it's gonna help then I will consider it but yeah, uh, that's scary. So I'm just gonna ignore that for now. Anyways, I'm wearing my new sweatshirt which I love so freaking much. I freaking love it. But what we're doing right now is we're building this cart that I got from Michaels yesterday. So, as I mentioned previously, one of my goals is to have Tubi tape available on my shop all the time and have it be like a made to order thing since I can make them faster. So I need to get like a supplies cart out here by my heat press since this is gonna be like my Tubi tape station. So I got one. I wanted to get one that kind of fit under here, but this is not that tall, so I don't think I will find one. So I got one that has a color that should at least match my living room, so it doesn't ruin the living room aesthetic. <laughs> Even though this thing kind of kind of does a little bit, but let's open this. Oh, I actually have to stand up. Oh, darn. I hope this isn't too difficult to build because I just don't have energy today. This looks bright orange on camera. It is in fact not. Wait a second. Hold on. Yay! Okay, this is actually pretty easy. Thank goodness. Because I simply do not have energy, as I was saying before. I don't know if anybody else's bodies do this, but mine has always done this, where it's like my body will fully compensate for what I need to get done, but as soon as that thing gets done, my body is done. It, it It's like it knows. It's like how, <laughs> like when you're out and you really have to go to the bathroom or something, um, but you can hold it, but as soon as you walk through the front door, something happens and it's like, oh my God, I need to go like right now. You know? Um, yeah, my body just does that all the time. So that's what I'm feeling. Like I literally finished all of my um, stuff that's necessary for restock. I finished all of it and now my body is just like, dang, you're tired. But as I was saying, there's a few more things that I wanna get done before I do absolutely nothing. So yeah, okay. Wait a second. Why do I have an extra one? Why do I have an extra? I mean, obviously I put them all in there otherwise I wouldn't be able to screw it on. Maybe they just sent me an extra one. Now what? So I have these nubbins, which have the matching color on top. Oh, I gotta stand up again. Great. Yay, and now it's wheel time. So we're gonna flip her down. She's down. Wow, she looks vibrant on here. It is not this color. That is so interesting. Okay, and I assume I just twist her. I think I was supposed to put the ones that have the brakes on like the same size, on the same side, but... Oh well. Yay! She works. Okay, so technically the card is done, but I got this thing to go on top because I, as I was like making tubi tape, I realized around this area, another surface would be nice. So now I have this to use as a surface. 
my gosh, do I really have to do nothing but snap it on there? Okay, it's done. Now I gotta fill this and find a home for it. Okay, it's done. Uh, I don't know if this is final placement. This area looks a little eh. But that's okay. This looks so freaking bright on camera. I promise it's not. That's not the color. It's <laughs> it's a softer, like more terracotta color, but it's so cute. I don't have that much stuff on it right now, but I guess I will kind of see which stuff I need to put on it as I like continuously make it. I don't know. This will kind of just be like a little learning process. Let me show you. This one is actually growing a freaking root. Look at that. Um, This one, this is a different type. This isn't the Swiss cheese. And I don't know if like that's the root type thing. I don't know, but that is really cool. Yeah, I think this is the only one that's sprouting right now, but we did something. That is so cool. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna embroider. Um, I'm not gonna do it right now because I am just so freaking exhausted. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna pick up the thread and then I'm gonna try eating and drinking some to see if that livens me up a little bit should i tell you what i'm embroidering yet or should i make you wait oh you know what i'm gonna make you wait and you're just gonna have to see this is just something for me personally let's pick up the threads i think i want to make a tiktok of this at the same time so oh my god i look so bad <laughs> sorry you're getting like exhausted me right now on camera which i feel like i really show too much of exhausted me because i am i'm not pleasant when i'm very exhausted I just realized that you really couldn't see it, but here are my colors. I might not use all of these. It, I need to do a little bit more research in just a second, but these are the colors. Yay. I'll come back later when I actually make a sweatshirt. Do I feel more alive now? Maybe like this much, but I'm just gonna try and make the sweatshirt anyways because this is literally the last thing that I have on my to-do list that I wanna do, so I just wanna do it. And I think it would be cute, so we're gonna try it. The sweatshirt is a little dirty, so I'm gonna lint roll this first. And now I need to figure out which stabilizer I'm gonna use, because this is the one that I prefer, but with lighter garments, you can see through it. So this one you might be able to see through. I'm just gonna go with the other one to be safe. Okay, so first we cut this to the size larger than the hoop. Oh wait, I already have one cut. Yay, good times. Flip her inside out. I'm gonna spray this with this and then stick it on here. Okay, and now we gotta find the middle. And since this is mine, sh I'm not gonna be that accurate because it's mine and I don't have the energy for that. Will I regret it later? Possibly. But you win some, you lose some. So the way I do this is I approximate the center. Okay, I'll be a little bit more accurate. Okay. Hi, Rome. I do it like three to four inches down. Like I want, that's where the top is. <laughs> Yeah, like 3.75 and then you want to find the middle of the design and I think this design is like three I can't remember. It's like a little less than three inches down. Wait a second What is this? My brain is not working right now. What and a quarter more inches Just do that We're just sticking it there. <laughs> okay, and then also um, if you're watching this and you embroider, please do not come at me if I'm doing something wrong. Everything I have learned is from like two YouTube videos. So I'm out here just doing my best. What I do is I actually take these um, dressmaker pins because they don't have the colored ball on it. And I stick them in here because there's a hole right here in the center so I can kind of like line it up. I don't know if that makes sense, but let's hoop this thing. Rome, not now. I'm really terrified that I'm gonna mess this up simply because pretty much all of my first designs were messed up. And I only have one of these shirts, so. Okay, and then I basically put this little grid thing in there and line it up, bro. And I just do the best that I can. Okay, I think it's good. I feel like it might be a little bit tilted, but we're just gonna yellow this. Lesson number one probably should be don't do things when you're tired because you're not gonna do them that well. But unfortunately, I am, I do not care. Now time to go to the machine. So technically this is my biggest one yet because this one's gonna take 34 minutes to make. Wow. This one takes 23 minutes. 
my biggest one let's hope it turns out well oh so what i'm doing now like i said please don't come at me if this is wrong um i saw people do this on a youtube video so <laughs> frankly that's what i'm doing oh if you wonder where i learned people ask me all the time where did you learn how to do all of this stuff um youtube and trial and error that's that's it that's how i teach myself things basically since this is a like what is it called like flat bed <laughs> i don't know flat bed embroidery machine see i don't know what i'm talking about don't listen to me you kind of have to like coil up all the extra material so it doesn't get caught on the machine at all so i've been told from youtube once again i'm just yellowing it through life okay and now i just shove this under here and clip it to here i really freaking hope this turns out well i'm genuinely so scared okay so put this under here oh gosh what am i doing she's in ladies and gents and days and everybody she's in everybody there we go okay let's clip her up here and make sure she is all clear i am actually terrified now but also excited i'm getting pumped up now i'm ready I'm ready okay so i'm scared okay no it's fine and now we just oh you can't even see but I'm just gonna put the needle down and trim the excess thread and then we're gonna go ahead and embroider. Let's get this party started. Um, I'll show you in just a second. I'm gonna get started. Okay, I'm actually so excited now. This is so fun. I love this. Okay, I need to water my plants in the meantime. I'll, I'll come by with updates. I finished it. Um, I'm so excited. I just have to cut the threads and then we're done. Oh, and the backing, but yay. Oh my gosh. I freaking love it. Oh my gosh. What? The this is so freaking cool. This is literally so cool that I can just, I have a sticker. And then bam. Okay, there's a lot more work that goes into it. I don't want to make it sound like it's super easy to do. It's not, but minus all the middle steps. You got a sticker, turn it into embroidery, bam, it's on a dirt. No freaking way. No freaking way. This is so fun. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. I just can't believe it. I just can't freaking believe it. I posted a poll on my Instagram um, story and I'm getting people's input now on what other stickers they wanna see in a shirt. And that's something I'm gonna work on during like this time that I have off next week. As I was saying before, it's not just as simple as taking the sticker and uploading it to the embroidery program and turning it to a sticker. I have to uh, go back and like make the stickers like embroidery software friendly. The one, the only one that happened to be like super embroidery software friendly already was the out of order one. So that one, which is, well one, I wanted that on a shirt. Like I knew that was the one I wanted on a shirt. And then two, I was, it actually was like the only one that happened to be like embroidery software friendly and beginner friendly. So like that's why I did that one. Um, but for the other stickers, I have to go back and kind of like redraw them, take things out, add certain things, whatever, to make it like, it's hard to explain, but things can't be like too intricate or whatever. Um, you kind of have to like simple, simplify them down for embroidery, but you still want it detailed enough to where it looks good. So I have to figure that out yet, but yeah, so there's probably more stickers coming to sweatshirts soon. But this is so fun. Okay. So I'm going to be done with the vlog for today unless we do something later because what do I have plans for later today? Nothing. It's beautiful. I have no plan. That has not been the case for a long time so I am just excited to do nothing. I might end up editing this like what I have right now for a little bit but for now I'm forcing myself to take a break even though doing embroidery kind of revived me from my funk I was in this morning which is amazing. I freaking love this. Oh my gosh. Hello. Acai bowls. Brunch. Brunch. But acai bowls. I'm excited.
excited because I have very few foods that agree with me and when I find a new food, I must eat it all the time. And right now this acai bowl is... Well, I haven't had one for... Why? Over a week. It's been a while, so... Yay, we're going to this new place and it looks like they have fun bases, which I'm excited about because that's the part that I can eat the most. Yay! Also, I'm wearing this shirt again because I just can't get enough. Well, I mean, I wore the sweatshirt yesterday and today I'm wearing the t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Hi, we finished up at the acai place and oh my gosh, it was so good and we came up with a business idea. So someone <laughs> out there make this, but make sure it's by me. <laughs> um, so this acai place, like I said, I wanted to go there because it had different bases. So like we had pataya, Coke, like this coconut one and this blue magic. I don't know what was in it, but it was magic. And then we're like, oh my gosh, what if this acai place was like, oh God, <laughs> what if it was like frozen yogurt, but with acai? So like, you know how frozen yogurt, you like, you know, you just choose whatever flavors you want. You can have as many as you want. And they just, you, you pay by weight. So you get everything you want, including the frozen yogurt and all the toppings and stuff. And then you just weigh it and bam, so that's sorry. what it is. But like an acai version, which is amazing because especially for people with stomach issues, because the part that I can eat the most is the base because uh, for obvious reasons. And they had so many different flavors of bases. They had like 10 different flavors and how cool it'd be if I just got a bowl with all the flavors of bases. And then I just get the toppings that I can get, you know, like the bananas and I got coconut and then I feel it. Like, oh, and agave, like, you know, you know, and then there's, you know, for the common people who don't have stomach issues, there's all the other options too. Genius! Patent pending. Patent pending! Someone come up with that! <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go try some coffee. Um, we just drove by this coffee shop and I was like, that looks cute. I never get like local coffee because there, there really isn't like local coffee shops near us. So. Yeah, it's usually 30 minutes away. Yeah, and this one's like 20 minutes away, but since we're in the area, we're gonna try it. Let's go. So we got a butterscotch cold brew and it doesn't taste anything like butterscotch. It just tastes like cold brew, but <laughs> it's good. Had high hopes. Just not butterscotch. I was so excited. Cause I've never seen anyone with butterscotch. Yummy. Hello. So it's actually Monday and I didn't end up vlogging the rest of Saturday or all of Sunday because we actually like hung out with family. So yeah, I just didn't vlog because we were enjoying the days. One thing that I did decide, it's not 100% yet, but most likely 100% because I really want to do it. But one thing I did decide was I think I'm going to open up a few like custom order slots for the sweatshirts that I made or the ribbon sweatshirt that I made and try to like try out some custom orders for those after like I catch up on this next restock and everything. I'm excited. I, I really like how the sweatshirt turned out and people seem really excited about it, which makes me really excited about it. I've just never been cu done custom orders before, so I'm gonna try it out, see what it's like, how long it takes, and then like every now and then I might just like open custom orders for those sweatshirts in specific. Like those are the only things right now that I know for sure I would wanna try custom orders for in terms of like 2 be pads and stuff like that. That's not something that I wanna do, but the sweatshirts like that is something that I am willing to do custom orders for and that I'm excited about. So yay for that. I think that's all I wanted to say, but sorry this was kind of just like a very uneventful vlog, but that's just how some days are. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a like and a comment and to subscribe for new videos every Saturday. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, the flowers in my garden never looked as bright as day. Like a happy child away.